Hi guys, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland and this short video is going to concentrate on number conversions number conversions conversions and in particular we're going to concentrate on converting hexadecimal numbers hexadecimal numbers okay, into decimal numbers okay. let's remember that hexadecimal numbers also known as hex yeah okay is base 16 okay and decimal is base 10 okay so base 16 numbers have 16 digits that the numbers can be comprised of yeah or composed from and them numbers are them digits are the digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b c D, E, and F. Okay, to give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 digits within our system. And base 10 are the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 is base 10. Okay, so we're going to convert on converting hex to decimal and also converting decimal back to hexadecimal. Okay, so let's consider a hexadecimal number. Okay, so let's consider the number 2A3F as an example. And this is in base 16. Okay, so we want to convert this number to decimal, and let's remember that this number is is taken from a positional number system. It's in base 16, so each digit represents how many multiples of certain powers of 16 we have. The F represents how many 16s to the zeros, the 3, 16s to the ones, the A, how many 16s squared, and the 2 here represents how many 16 cubes there is. So this number has, has F. 16s to the zeros and it has 3 16s to the ones and it has a 16 squares and it has two 16 cubes okay so let's just remember that f in our number system yeah represents the number well 9 represents the, the digit 9 represents the number 9 so a represents 10 11 12 14, 14, 15. So this tells us that we have 15 16s to the zeros. And that's okay, that's plus 3 16s to the ones. Plus, well, A represents, after the digit 9, it's 10, so this represents how many? 10 16 squareds, and this represents 2 16 cubes. So let's convert each one of these powers. So this is 15 times 1 plus 3 times 16 plus well 16 squared is equal to 256 so this represents 10 times 256 plus well 16 cubed is equal to the value 4096 so this is 2 times 4096 which gives us 15 plus well 3 16s is 48 okay plus 10 256s is 2560 plus 2 times 96 so it's, uh, 2 times 4096 is equal to 8192 okay so 8192 plus 2560 is equal to 10752 plus 48 is equal to 10800 plus 15 gives us 10,815, oh sorry, 10,815 in base 10. So the hexadecimal number 2A3F in base 16 represents the number 10815 in base 10. Okay, so that's how we convert from hexadecimal to decimal. So let's concentrate on converting now from decimal back into hexadecimal. And to do this, uh, what we do is we take our decimal number, in this case it's 10815, and that's in base 10, and what we're going to do is we're going to successfully divide 10815 by 16, and we're going to keep track of how many remainders we have. So we have 10815, 
eight one five divided by sixteen gives us it goes six hundred and seventy five times with a remainder of well with a remainder of fifteen. Okay. Now how many times does sixteen go into six seven five? So we have six seven five divided by sixteen goes in forty two times with a remainder of three. What about sixteen into forty two? Well sixteen into forty two goes three times. Okay, so sixteen sorry sixteen into forty two. Sixteen forty two divided by sixteen, okay, goes two times with a remainder of five. Sixteen divided by forty two, yeah, it goes twice with a remainder of ten. I'm telling lies there. Okay, remainder of ten. And finally sixteen into two goes zero times with a remainder of two. So let's keep in mind that this is the most significant digit and this is the least significant digit. And when we move from here to here, we end up with the number 15, 3, 10, and 2. Each one of these represents a digit within our new system within hexadecimal. But we know that the digit 15, that the 15th digit is the symbol F. 3 is 3. The 10th digit in the system is A. Okay. Or sorry, 10 represents the number A, and 2 represents 2. So this is our new number in base 16. Okay, I hope that, um, I suppose, was helpful and informative. Uh, my name is Jonathan Lambert, uh, and I'm with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Okay, thank you for your time.